It's certain that you will work with stakeholders and key decision makers at some point. Stakeholder management is the process of maintaining good relationships with the people who have the most impact on your work. Communicating with each one in the right way can play a vital part in keeping them on board. As careers develop, the actions you take start to affect more and more people. The more people you affect, the more likely it is that some of them will have significant power and influence over your work. Stakeholders could be strong supporters of your projects or they could block them. So you need to connect with your stakeholders in the right way and aim to win them over as soon as possible. Let's now have a quick look at three simple steps to stakeholder management. Let's take a look at step one. You can find them by speaking to the team, your project manager, and looking at the company's organizational chart. Every company has one. Now for step two. This simple tool helps you categorize stakeholders by the power and influence they have on your project. Each quadrant indicates the level of stakeholder management that you will need to employ. For step three, managing stakeholders and those that impact your project the most takes assertiveness and resilience. Some projects will test you, especially when they don't go exactly as you have planned. And these moments of challenge can be stressful and affect your usual style of communication in a negative way. Emotional intelligence is needed in these moments. Take a second to acknowledge how you're feeling and how it's affecting what it is you're trying to say to them. Reframe your thoughts, adjust your actions and go again. Other appropriate behaviours to consider would be to be respectful at all times. Ensure what you're doing is adding value and having the ability to adjust your communication style to suit the style of the person you're communicating with goes a long way in being recognised as someone who can be trusted, is easy to work with and delivers. 